Real quick, I want to cover one last point before we move further or in this class, and perhaps I should have led with this, is the purchase agreement or the escrow agreement. Uh, the process of buying the home generally involves the multiple steps that we just talked about earlier. So there are people that are involved other than the real estate parties of the buyer and seller. There's many other people. The escrow agreement, which in Indiana, we call this the purchase agreement. This is the set of directions that guide that third party title company and give them that set of instructions like are the taxes prorated we check that box you know is there any financing yes we check that box when is the closing date yes we put a date in there so the purchase agreement or some states call it the escrow agreement because remember the entire process some states call it the escrow agreement we call it the purchase agreement it is that guiding document that is what typically when someone orders title, bing, 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 there's my bell for finger quotes. I, I'm going to get one of those ZZ buttons or something bing, bing, that says finger quotes for the people at home. You guys can obviously see this. Um, that's why when you order title wo work, first thing to ask for is I need a copy of the purchase agreement because that is the guiding document to that disinterested third party, i.e. the title company with which to create the process of what's the property address so we can get the legal description and then we can search the liens and who are the buyers and sellers so we can search judgments on them for all of these other things. The escrows and the, the, the escrow process and the escrow agreement are there to protect all of the parties to make sure that what the buyer and seller agreed on are actually what transpired. I know that this is a little uh, weird to put this at the end, probably should have put it at the beginning so we all understand, um, but I'm sure I'm dealing with intelligent people in here. Um, the purchase agreement is that guiding document that we submit to this disinterested third party. All right, any questions? If you've got questions at home, feel free to email me at raymond at realuniversity.com. If you've got a question, any questions here? <laughs> you guys just want out because you know <laughs> we're bumping up against that hour. <laughs> All right, I wanna thank you and once again, thank you for coming and enjoy the class. And those of you at home, thank you and uh, like I said, questions, email me, raymond at realuniversity.com. See you later.